welcome back to another episode of Joe Squatters. Um, I'm not sure if the wind is going to be like really annoying in this here video, but we're going for it anyway. I feel like I haven't been uploading that many videos as I should be to please the audience. So not really sure what to talk about in this video. But uh, yeah, we're out here. Uh, he's throwing a ball to me and I'm just down the hill kicking the ball. But watch this. Hey Bryce, watch, watch what happens when I miss. You ready? Uh-huh, he only laughs when I miss. You ready? Uh-huh, but now watch. I'm gonna kick it here. Nothing. Just, just, it blows my mind. I, I mean, I wish I had that mindset of a, I wanna say he's two. Bryce, uh, 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 you little punk. Why you gotta throw it towards the drain? I wanna say that he's two. Bring it over here, over here. There you go. I wanna say that he's two. But at the same time, I wanna say that he's three because he's like two and a half feet tall. I don't know if that's tall for a child or not, but both of his parents are really tall. I wanna say his mom's six foot tall. His dad's six six, so. He's a little up there in height. I'm six one and a half. So he's got me by uh, six, six one minus six six or six six minus six one and a half. That comes about two four and a half inches taller than me. Yeah, that's quite. That's oh, that's quite some. Uh, that's quite a height difference. If you think about it, just think about it. It's a it's pretty, pretty big, drastic height difference. When we stay next to each other, it looks like he's about 7'2", and I'm about 4'8", but it's only four and a half inches. Gosh, I hope I did that math right, or this is gonna be a weird and awkward video. Well, not so much a weird, but awkward video. I mean, it's just awkward being out here right now, talking to myself, well, not to myself, to you guys, but it's like, to myself right now until you guys watch the video because then I'm technically talking to you. But like, if somebody walks by, I'm just gonna have my phone out like this and then talking to you guys. Bryce, don't throw the ball into the bush, please. I don't wanna get it. Don't, don't you do it. No, don't. No ball, no. Throw it back down here. Anyway, where was I? Um, Oh, people walking by. That, that would be awkward, not only for me, but for them. They're probably gonna walk by and think, wow, that kid is special. There's gotta be something wrong with him. He's talking to a phone. And I'm just gonna be like, no. You know, the older people, I'm not saying there's anything wrong, wrong with old people. I love old people, but I'm not talking. Actually, I am talking to a phone, so they're technically correct, but it's what we do. It's what the younger generation does in today's society. Now, do I want to be a part of that, like, group thing? No, not necessarily. I Over here, I like the way I've grown up. I didn't have technology until I could afford my own technology. I didn't, I don't like things being handed to me. Granted, I probably would have taken like an Xbox 360 when it came out, but I grew up with knowing that I wasn't going to be getting one because none of my brothers did. So that's, oh, why are you sitting down? I grew up, I didn't have an Xbox 360 or a PS3. We got a PS3 when the PS4 came out. That's how my parents would do it. We had a PS2 when the PS3 came out. We were always like, I guess you could call it a generation behind, but I didn't care. I like being outside like I am right now. I would rather be outside than inside cooped up in a little cubicle playing video games. So, I don't know, that's just the way I am and I hope that's the way that this little dude becomes. Hey. Ugh. Hi. But 
yeah, you know, I hope, I, I'm hoping that's the way that he gets brought up. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my childhood. I was outside. I wasn't inside playing video games like most kids are in today's society. Now, I'm not going to blame the kids that are inside playing video games because that's the way that they were brought up. They're going to do, what are you doing? They're gonna do. They're gonna do whatever their parents brought them up to do. So if their parents brought them up playing inside on the PS3 or PS4 or PS5, probably, um, then they're gonna be inside playing those things rather than outside, just because that's what they know and that's what they think is fun. Me on the other hand, I was brought up outside not like literally brought up outside i was brought up inside my house but i was brought up going outside i went outside i would stay outside from dawn to dusk i almost said dusk to dawn oh no i think it is huh i know that there's a program in my school it was called dawn to dusk so i think that when the sun rises it's dawn and then when it sets, it's dusk. Because then... Ooh, bubble in my throat. Because then, like, overnight, it's from dusk till dawn. Or from dawn to dusk. I don't know. Uh, um, Bryce, what are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, so, yeah. That's, that's my whole gist on... Uh, yeah, that's, that's just kind of the way that I was brought up. I, that wasn't really a gist about anything. But if you want my honest opinion about, like, video games and everything, I think that they are overused. I think kids in today's world need to get outside more. But then again, that's my own opinion. I'm entitled to my own opinion under the First Amendment, which is freedom of speech and press and all that stuff. But, if you want to stay inside and your parents are okay with it, then do it. I would rather be outside, though. That's, that's my take on uh, the way the world is going, I guess you could say. Because the way the world is going, we are getting a lot more technological. Technological. And not outside the logical. Yeah, we're out here inventing words and stuff. It's all good, though. You know, lots changing in the world so might as well invent new things i guess well not that words are things so actually are they i don't know this is probably the weirdest like vlog so yeah that's that so i guess that this could be like a like real vlog like i'm not saying that all my other vlogs are fake and i'm using like uh I forget what they're called and like acting and stuff like uh, uh, like the person who like looks like you but they're not actually you I don't I don't know I'm not in acting stuff and all that or theater but if we're gonna have like a real like talk like all my other videos I guess you could say that they're fun which I mean, I, I hope you guys think that they're fun. That's the reason why I'm doing these is to make people laugh. I'm not trying to become like a famous YouTuber. Um, just making these basically for my friends, like if they're ever bored and are maybe having a bad day and they want to escape for like 15 minutes and watch a video that could potentially make them laugh depending on how sad they are. That's why I'm making these videos. So this, I honestly forget what I was going to talk about, but, um, I think it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and remember what, what I was talking about there. Uh, I got it. It's, I'm going to talk about why you should be grateful for the life that you have, because there are many people who would trade their, I guess you could say, their road in life that they're in right now for your road in life that you're in right now um there are a lot of people that have a lot more uh 
poopy of a situation to play it safe with the word choices. Um, there's a lot more people who have a worse, con uh, not conversation, um, a worse situation than my viewers do. They're, and like most of those people, to be honest, are some of the happiest like people. And that just goes to show that like, you don't really need all these materialistic things. Like, I don't, I don't necessarily need this phone. Okay, necessarily, I don't at all. Um, I don't need this phone at all to give me fun. Or to provide me with fun, or however you want to word it. I could go outside and kick a rock. And that would give me more fun than this phone could probably ever give me. Even if I'm by myself. I, I was, before my nephew came out, which is him, before he even came out and started throwing the ball down to me, I was out here kicking the ball by myself, and I was having a jolly old time, if I do say so myself. So, come on, Bryce. So, like, you don't need necessarily materialistic things to provide fun for you. You can go outside and have so much more fun, or you can stay inside and build a fort. You know, I used to build forts all the time. I would build them all across the house too. Now, was my mom always happy with me building forts? No. But did my eight year old, like two 14 year, years of age care if my mom wasn't happy? Yeah, sometimes, but other times I was like, I'm a kid, I'm having fun. But I mean, yeah, like I cared about my mom's opinion, obviously, cause she was my mom and she told me what to do and I had to listen. But, like, I would just, I, I could pick any, I, I, would, I could make fun out of anything, is what I'm trying to say. And I'm not bragging. I'm just saying that we have a lot more opportunities than kids do to even go outside and play. A lot of kids don't even have, ah, oh, I just bit my tongue. Oh my gosh. I'm just, ah. Bryce, where are you going? I'm just saying that. We have a lot of opportunities to have fun, and I feel like a lot of kids these days aren't seizing that opportunity. So, I would just say that, like, seize, seize the chances that you have and make the most of them. Um, also, be thankful for all the blessings that you have. Um, I was driving home today from school and I saw a really bad car accident. Oh, Bryce, that was your cup. I saw a really bad car accident and um, I saw the person take, I saw the ambulance people, the EMTs or paramedics, take the person out of the vehicle that got hit on the driver's side. Okay, sorry about that. I uh, had a take my nephew in and get his diaper changed but as i was saying was i saw the paramedics or emts whatever you want to call them take this person out of the car that had gotten hit on the driver's side door and it was it was pretty bad looking you know and it made me realize that at any given moment that could be me when i'm driving and i know that i wouldn't want to like be holding any grudges against anybody or not been able to do something that I wanted to do. So that's why I always say, like at the end of the videos, I always say live your life while you can because you never know technically when that last moment here on earth is going to be. So just be thankful for the things that you have well it's been another swell video here on the joe squatters channel this is gonna be the end of the video so peace out joe squatters live your life while you can daily dose of freedom